The fight against corruption by the current administration has so far been hard and long. According to the Independent Corrupt Practices Commission, ICPC, a total of 1,569 petitions were received against government agencies and other private sector practitioners on cases of corruption in 2016 alone, with a total of 8.7 billion naira recovered. The ICPC has filed 70 cases in court, secured 11 convictions, even as it is pursuing a total of 303 cases in various courts across the Federation. Another key initiative in fighting corruption by the administration is the introduction of the Treasury Single Account, TSA, a cash planning and management tool aimed at plugging leakages and looting of public funds. So far, 4.6 trillion naira of government funds, which would have funded its ways to private coffers, has been saved, with about 50,000 ghost workers and the government's payroll uncovered. And now, it would seem that owning a whistle is a big investment and knowing how and when to use it can be most profitable these days. In December 2016, the Minister of Finance, Kemi Adelshu, announced the whistleblower policy of the federal government. Under the policy, a whistleblower may voluntarily provide the government with information on corrupt practices with a promise of a cash reward ranging from 25 and 5% of any of the recovered sum arising from the information supplied by the whistleblower. Only recently, the federal government announced that it has recovered 151 million US dollars and 8 billion naira looted funds from three sources through whistleblowers, with the biggest amount being 136.7 million US dollars recovered from an account in a commercial bank under a false account name. Now you know. It pays to own a whistle. While Nigerians are alert, the authorities say looters are shivering and the economy is bouncing back. In Abuja, Cecil Egbeli, NTN News.